must have been love came through the rain and storms to save me. Hi, my name is Mozan. I'm here to share with you something really important. The Bible declares that there were two kinds of disciples. One was Peter, Simon Peter, who told Jesus that no one was going to touch him as long as Peter was around. My friend, before the night was over, Peter had denied Jesus thrice because he boasted of his love for the Lord and it wasn't going to work. Another disciple was John who writes of himself that he's the one whom the Lord loved. So he took on the identity of the one who is loved by God. And we see that when Jesus was crucified, the people who were right there with him were his mother, Mary, and John. That's really important to think about. That one boasted of his love for the Lord and ran away from him, and one boasted of the Lord's love for him and stayed through the process. So what kind of disciple are you? Are you the one who boasts of your love for the Lord or the one who boasts of the Lord's love for him? The Bible declares in 1 John chapter 4, verse 10, that in this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us. That is true love. Our love for God is not true love. It's dependent on so many circumstances. But God's love for us is constant and consistent, and it's the love that we need to be boasting about. I pray that you stop boasting about your love for God and start boasting about God's love for you. For in this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us. May you be the disciple who goes all the way because you are focused on God's love for you and not, his, and not your love for him. God bless.